Hi there. Lester Fields here. I arrive at Arctos Pharma in my power armor and climb up the hill and into the building. There are scorched here, but I get myself past them and take the elevator down to the biome lab on the lower level. No sooner do I exit the elevator when a voice over the intercom starts talking to me. The Arctos Pharma Biome Lab will now proceed with Project Paradise. A technician must initialize the experiment at the mainframe terminal. I head down some stairs and grab a stim pack before accessing the mainframe terminal. I initialize an experiment called Project Paradise. Phase one of Project Paradise has now begun. Goal, attraction of test subjects. Method, provide an appealing food source in each habitat. Feeding troughs in habitat A, B, and C are ready to be filled with appropriate materials from each habitat. Try not to die while gathering materials. So, I'm to gather appropriate materials and fill feeding troughs. Sounds simple enough. My friend and fellow vault dweller, Lord Reaper, joins me, and together we go after the abundant rad stags in the area, from which we're able to gather fragrant venison to fill the trough. But it's not as simple as that, as we're accosted by sentry bots, Yaogwai, and Assaultrons, among other foes, all trying to prevent us from completing our goal. As I go, I add the venison to the feeding trough in this area, and Lord Reaper does the same. We're relentlessly pursued by creatures such as ants, honey beasts, and cave crickets, but manage to continue filling the trough while a timer slowly counts down to zero. By the end of the countdown, the feeding trough has a rating of three out of three. While I'm not sure what that means exactly, it seems like we did pretty good. The voice over the intercom lets us know that phase one of Project Paradise is nearly complete. We take advantage of the temporary respite to catch our breath and then are instructed to meet the friendly animals. Friendly animals? Well, that'll be a welcome change. But then we start getting attacked from all sides and a message pops up telling us to defend the friendly animals. Quickly I rush towards the nearest one, hoping it's something that can help defend itself, but thinking it'll probably be a vile tick or some other easily squashable creature. I make my way through a doorway to find... Otis, the glowing Deathclaw. Well, this is good news indeed, as at level 91, he's sure to be no pushover. During phase two, we will observe the test subject's reaction to Formula P again. I'm so excited to see the results. Lord Reaper makes it over to Otis's location as the voice talks about phase two and Formula P, but we have our work cut out for us as we're prompted to expect incoming predators three waves of them. Otis runs around all over the place while Lord Reaper and I fend off the wolves, stingwings, and honey beasts that make up wave one of the incoming predators.
Wave 2 hits, and it begins with more of the same. Honestly, keeping up with Otis is more of a chore than defending against the creatures coming at him. Then, we get a warning about an incoming large and vicious creature. Warning, very large and vicious creature approaching the test area. A message pops up warning of an alpha predator, just in time for me to spot an alpha sheep squatch. This thing soaks up all the damage we're dealing to it and shows no signs of slowing down. I decide I'd be better served by coming out of my power armor and wielding my bloody deathclaw gauntlet against the sheep squatch instead. There's another vault dweller who's joined us as I move in to assault the sheep squatch, raining blow after blow upon him. Some of the remaining creatures and bots in the area attack it too, and between us all, we managed to lay it low. Project Paradise finishes up just as an Assaultron gets a cheap shot on me. When I come to, Lord Reaper is down and calling for help. I use a stim pack on him, and we both finish looting the body of the Sheep Squatch. We decide not to stick around now that everything's finished, and we make our way up and out of Arctos Pharma. Back at camp, I take a look at my spoils. So what did I get for my trouble? In addition to caps and experience, I looted a legendary piece of armor from the Sheep Squatch, and for completing Project Paradise, both Lord Reaper and I received the Arctos Pharma lab coat, along with some other minor loot. The both of us get on up to the roof of the main building in my camp, where we pose for a photograph. An interesting little diversion, this Project Paradise. It's always nice to get my hands on some exclusive outfits, and having done so, it's now time to call it a day. Stay safe out there, Vault Dwellers, and until next time, thanks so much for watching.